what if those results are coming back with information that they want us to have instead of the information that we are seeking. That's the problem with these algorithms. And I do believe that the algorithms used on YouTube, it's one of the reasons why many channels are going down and why there's no recourse to get our channels back. It's all artificial intelligence. This is just the start of a much bigger wave. They're all pushing in the same direction. They're all pushing towards general artificial intelligence. And I'll get to why I just said general artificial intelligence. But companies like Google, Facebook, and Microsoft can still run their neural networks on standard computer chips known as CPUs. But since CPUs are designed as all-purpose processors, this is terribly inefficient. So since CPUs are designed as all-purpose processors, this is terribly inefficient. Neural networks can run faster and consume less power when paired with chips specifically designed to handle the massive array of mathematical calculations these artificial systems require. They need artificial chips that can run on personal devices too. In other words, the market for artificial intelligence chips is potentially enormous. That's why companies are jumping into the mix. Intel is now building a chip specifically for machine learning. It's really unfortunate that so many people are so wowed by this technology and do not understand that Facebook and Google, YouTube, they are all organizations used by the shadow government to keep tabs on everything that we do on the internet. And they'll buy these gadgets, they'll use them, they'll put cameras and microphones in their homes, and Facebook will be able to see everything and hear everything that's going on in people's homes. In George Orwell's 1984, the oppressive rulers used devices called telescreens to closely monitor and repress citizens. And who developed it? Building Aid. Facebook's Building Aid. DARPA. Facebook announced the launch of Building 8 in April 2016, a research lab to develop hardware projects in the style of DARPA. It's DARPA! That should really raise everybody's eyebrows, you know, when they should be questioning, hey, Facebook, DARPA, hmm, that's the kind of fusion that I should be concerned with, no? Yes, absolutely computers will be able to recognize your face and your voice. And Microsoft had a project known as the Personal Agent to help people manage their memory, attention, and focus. It will work across all your devices. This agent will be the artificial intelligence picking all of the information that artificial intelligence believes that you need. Whomever controls this will control what information people make. That's what artificial intelligence will do. It tunnels your vision. Facebook News uses artificial intelligence. They use algorithms. You're not actually getting what you seek. You're getting what artificial intelligence wants you to get. Artificial intelligence can encompass anything from Google's search algorithms to IBM's Watson to autonomous weapons. Artificial intelligence today, today, is operating. And it's properly known as narrow artificial intelligence, which means that it's operating facial recognition, internet searches, driving cars, but general artificial intelligence is what is very concerning and would outperform humans at nearly every cognitive task. Autonomous weapons are artificial intelligence systems that are programmed to kill. In the hands of the wrong person, these weapons 
could easily cause mass casualties. To avoid being thwarted by the enemy, these weapons would be designed to be extremely difficult to simply turn off so humans could plausibly lose control of such a situation. This can happen whenever we fail to fully align the artificial intelligence goals with ours, which is strikingly difficult. If you ask an obedient, intelligent car to take it to the airport as fast as possible, it might get you there chased by helicopters and covered in vomit, doing not what you want, but literally what you asked for. If a super intelligence system is tasked with a ambitious geoengineering project, it might wreak havoc with our ecosystem as a side effect and view human attempts to stop it as a threat to be met. People now control the planet, not because we're the strongest, fastest, or biggest, but because we're the smartest. Well, so we think. But if we're no longer the smartest, are we assured to remain in control? Do you really think that you're in control of your computer now? You'd like to think that. You're not understanding that every video is being stored, saved, by Big Brother, by Facebook, by Google, by NSA, by DARPA, by government. 